Most energy data right now is a month end true up along the lines of things like net metering and, and interval data is the next granular level that's down to 15 minute intervals. In order to truly balance the grid, we need real-time balancing. And uh, across distance, across any, you look at solar arrays over here, wind, uh, wind farms over here, uh, residential solar, batteries, EVs, which are roving batteries, we have the opportunity to take that data in real time and create new dynamic balancing that is really exciting and powerful. We're seeing utility scale solar and even distributed uh, solar in, in renewable products start to become more on par with traditional sources. People are saying, hey, this makes economic sense. So I think it's the economics that are, are pushing people to say, hey, why don't we explore this as, as a means to meet our needs instead of just saying, oh, let's just stick to the traditional sources. The data that was collected for the uh, energy benchmarking in Lawrence, that data would be posted on the open data portal. That's, that's help that the city of Chicago, that governments can provide others who are trying to work in this area. So when you think about this future where Utopia's got wind farms, she's got distributed generation, Brian has a system where you've got essentially redundant backup storage provided back, and Tom's got all the data that he wants. <laughs> we don't live there yet, so what's standing in the way? This video was brought to you by Construct Connect. Click to subscribe and see more at BuiltWorlds.com.